Hello there. If you're running an iOS device such as an iPhone, iPad, iPod, and are tired of being pestered to upgrade your iOS version several times a day, this video is going to show you how to stop those messages from coming up. How to both reduce and stop. So, the first thing I'll show you is once you start getting those messages, what you need to do is delete the iOS update from your phone. So I'm going to be going to the settings app and general and then uh, I will be going to storage and iCloud usage and then I will be going to manage storage and it shows from the top down the apps that use the most uh, data on your phone down to the least. So over here you see iOS 10.3.1. Now that I see that I'm going to delete it. It's 1.4 gigabytes. Delete update. And now the only way it will download itself is when you are on a Wi-Fi connection. So, the, le the less you are on a Wi-Fi connection, uh, the longer it is going to take until it re-downloads that update. So, um, and if you're on an unlimited data plan like I am, you can be off of it the majority of the time. I just turn my Wi-Fi on if I'm streaming like video and whatnot, or doing other things that I'm going to be using a lot of bandwidth on. But um, generally I'm off it. So the second thing to uh, note is if you want to jailbreak your device, if you're in a version of iOS that can be jailbroken, uh, once you jailbreak your device, you, you're, you will no longer get messages to upgrade iOS on your device. Uh, and another thing you can do if you want to be on Wi-Fi all the time, but uh, not have it download the update, you can add the Apple update servers to the block list within your router. And um, although doing that, the instructions for that will vary depending on your router. So I'm not going to bother getting into that. But if any of you want to see how to do it on either a Linksys router or an ActionTech router for Fios, I'll show that if you comment below. Otherwise, in the description of the video, I will add what server to add once I verify what server that is. But um, I'm thinking that will also block your ability to do other sort of updates on the device as well, such as the App Store. So that's probably something that I would use sparingly or only, you know, at certain times. But anyway, that's basically what you do. So uh, Again, you just delete the uh, iOS update when you see that pester message for the first time. And uh, you're not going to get several messages a day like you would normally to update your iOS. You'll at least get a break a day or every few days or maybe once a week if you have it on Wi-Fi on and off. So anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, please uh, like and subscribe if you want to see more from me.